What's up guys, it is your boy Bernardo from the BTN HD and if this is your first time checking me out, make sure to hit that subscribe button and get the latest and greatest on Windows videos. So today is all about Windows Admin Center or WAC, aka Project Honolulu. Yes, Project Honolulu used to be the original name of this application, but Microsoft decided to change it to Windows Admin Center. I do love the name, it flows a little better than Project Honolulu. So I will provide this link for you guys at the bottom of the video. You're going to hit that download link. Once you hit that download link, it's going to start downloading the Windows Admin Center MSI file. You can click on the file. I downloaded it from um, Chrome. So when you click on it, it automatically launches to set up, which is a good thing. You want to accept the license agreement and click next. You got two options. Either use the Microsoft updates. This is recommended. So this is what I did and I uh, hit next. And then by default, it doesn't have created desktop shortcut to launch the Windows Admin Center. It's kind of weird. This is web based, so you don't need to install like IIS or anything on your machine. So I checked that off. I clicked on next. The next thing is it gives you the defaults of management port of 443. So you are going to be taking advantage of 443, which is going to be HTTPS. You are able to generate a self signed SSL certificate and it's going to expire 60 days. If you already have one, you could do it that route. Uh, click install. You're going to get the user account control, hit yes, and it's gonna start copying new files, installing, and eventually you're going to get this. Pretty simple, it's really, really easy. Click finish. Uh, you're gonna have the, if you chose the option to create a shortcut, this is how it looks. Double click on it. You're gonna get this uh, sign in. Uh, I, I sign in using these credentials within my domain, click OK. Because I'm using Internet Explorer, uh, it's going to give me this, ask me later, and you're going to get this. This is weird. Uh, this is a Windows product that's not working with Internet Explorer. Internet Explorer is a Windows product, so it doesn't work. So either use Microsoft Edge or Google Chrome. Uh, I started downloading Google Chrome, so I downloaded, installed, and there it goes. I made Google Chrome my default browser. When I double click on the Windows Admin Center, it's automatically gonna launch Chrome, which is a good thing, but you're gonna get this connection is not private. Uh, so hit advance, proceed to the to the you know website, and username, password, sign in, and then you go. You get a nice little tour. It's really self-explanatory with the tour. It's only like two steps, so click next. Boom, hit finish, done. So this is how it looks. The machine that you're using is automatically added to the Windows Admin Center. So if you want to add an additional machine to manage, you want to click on the Add button and you're gonna get these options. You are able to add a server connection, a Windows PC connection, a failover cluster connection, and a hyperconverge cluster connection. Now, for this video, I'm only gonna show you guys how to do a server connection. So click on it. You want to enter the server name. And for some reason, I was getting this problem. I was constantly uh, needing to add my username and password to get into my Windows Admin Center. So I definitely need to look into that and hopefully I can find a fix and push it out to you guys. So once I signed in, uh, you have two options. You, are, you can either use the Windows account for this connection, the, whatever Windows account that you're logged into the machine that you installed this Windows Admin Center, you could use that or you could use another account. I used another account, so I provided the username and password, and I clicked on Submit with Credentials, and boom, add it. It's awesome. Uh, the only thing is it's last connected is going to say never, so you need to click on it. Once you click on it, it's going to start establishing the connection, and if everything works well, you're going to see this, a nice, beautiful overview of that virtual machine. Uh, I do like Project Honolulu. I do need to work with this application a little bit more. Uh, I'm kind of excited that Windows changed the name to Windows Admin Center. It just sounds much better. Uh, and that's it, guys. That is how we install uh, Project Honolulu, which is now Windows Admin Center. I think this is build 1804. Super excited. I need to use it a little bit more. I might maybe push it out to a production environment to see how well that works out. Hopefully you guys enjoy. Leave comments right below. Don't forget about hitting that like button. And I catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.